and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're trying something different. We're gonna travel with our taste buds. It's quarantine time, we ain't able to travel like we want to. So today, we're gonna open up our passports to our taste buds and we're gonna travel to, do you know where we're traveling to? North of India. That is right, we're going to North India, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. Yes, like my baby said, we're heading to North India. We're making beef. Kima. I think I'm saying it right, but if I'm not, you know, sorry if I am. Great. So, all right, today with this dish, we have cumin, we have coriander, ground coriander, we have um, cilantro, we have turmeric, we have um, chili powder, chilies, ground beef. Uh, ginger, garlic, and onion. So, with all that being said, that is what makes up the quinoa. And again, I hope I'm saying it right, but okay, first we're going to start out by making our basmati rice. So, I'm going to have my assistant, Leah, just follow the directions that came with the rice. And she's going to get that going for me. My little sous chef. Good to have a little sous chef in the kitchen. That way I get a little more time to enjoy my wine. Oh, and with the wine, I think we are in... Where's the wine? Did you throw it in trash? With the wine, um, I believe we are in Italy. Okay, so we didn't travel from Houston to Italy with our taste buds, with our wine. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to do what, Leah? Come and tell them. Subscribe and click the bell and put, give it a big thumbs up. Big yeah, thumbs up. I always up. like cooking and um, experience different flavors and cultures and stuff like that. So, passport of the taste buds. So, <laughs> it's about that time to really jump from Italy to India. Let's get into it. All right, I just added our cooking oil. We added about uh, maybe three tablespoons of cooking oil. And once the um, skeet, the skeet, warms up, the skillet, once the pan warms up, we're gonna add our onions, okay? And we're gonna cook them till they're translucent. We've added our onions and uh, what? <laughs> she don't know what to do with herself. This is my big baby. It's my first one. She likes to eat, you know. She likes to eat. Okay. She likes to cook. And baby, I don't have favorites, but you know. The jokes in this house go. I love y'all all the same, which you know it's cool. <laughs> you know what? I don't love them the same. I love them according to how they need to be loved. That's why everybody gets it twisted. We translucent, and then we will add our garlic and ginger, which we've already chopped up. All right, our onions are getting themselves together. So we're about to add our garlic and our ginger. And you know, if you want to know, it's already smelling good. All right, you go down and have music playing that you don't want. It's turning uh, medium golden brown. So then we're going to add our pound of ground beef in like a couple and seconds. And I'm going to show you what she got going on here. I'm just smashing it up. No, let me help her so we can move along to our next. So now that they're releasing the juice from the uh, ground meat, we're going to go ahead and add the spices, which are the garam masala, the uh, coriander, um, cumin, turmeric, and the chili. So come on over and let's see what we're going to do. Can I pour it? Here. Everybody wants to pour it. Pour it all in. Just pour it in. Mmm, 
smells so good. It does smell good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it does smell so good. Smell it. Oh, it's not good. Tomatoes? Uh, we got our yummy tomatoes and our tomato puree. So this is what it looks like now, guys. It's looking really good, y'all. And it's smelling even better. Yeah. So y'all can smell it. Get a little smell. So now, we're going to put y'all back. So good. North India food is... This dish is... Now, it's tasting good. Now it's tasting good. We're going to let it simmer on down. We're going to simmer for like 20 minutes to get all that good flavors and all that goodness in there, mm -hmm. okay? Because we're headed to India, okay, y'all? So stay tuned. Stay tuned. So guys, this is what it looks like so far after a couple minutes. So I hope y'all still stay tuned. It tastes so good and it smells so good. So y'all get a little sniff sniff. Yeah, okay, bye. Stay tuned for the next update. Those flavors have deepened and I'm ready to eat. I know the song, but I, I, I think that one's good. Sing it, sing it. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. Mm. It is so, so delicious. I got, I got some yogurt to go on top with my um, cilantro. And my chilies, I like spicy. Uh, I think I have one kid that likes spicy. My sister can't eat spicy. It burns her tongue. Um, I think me, me and my child only one likes spicy. My niece does too, but she's not eating it, so hey. So let me add my peas and uh, so we can get to it. They're really trying to do a TikTok, and I'm trying to add my peas. I may have to add a little bit. And I like doing a little bit more salt after I add my peas just because I know it's going to take up some of it. So, we're going to add our peas in. Alright, y'all. We are done with our beef kima. And when I tell you before it was done, I had a taste test. It was so yummy, flavorful, the spices. I mean, everything. that I haven't been to India, but uh, just looking at their flavor profiles like this is what I would think it would smell like it would taste like it it's just so yummy let me take another bite now that we have added our peas and our cilantro oh, it's hot y'all so I'm gonna take a little tiny a little tiny tints mm. Mm. oh my god it's so good I'm just dropping stuff too. Mmm. Yeah. This is mom. This is so good. I'm so excited about eating it. Y'all know. Big mom can eat. Oh my god. So like a little mosquito in. But y'all. Today we traveled to India. I'm going to get some more reviews from the um, house guests. What do you have to say? It's really good. It's good. And I want to go It's so again. good. So you guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, and look for my recipes for beef kima on Etsy. And it will be in my cookbook. Passport of the Traveling Taste Buds. Okay, so y'all make sure y'all check out that because we'll be heading around the world. I don't know what's next. We'll be heading next, but we're in India. You guys just stay tuned because that's what we're doing. We're hitting up the world with our taste buds. Thanks for watching.